welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here I am so excited that you clicked on this video and decided to try to give it a watch if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I upload a new video um, also don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below those things will just definitely help out my channel so so much today I have a Dollar Tree haul I'm a day late story of my life we didn't well my son didn't have school on monday we have been he's been working on like deep cleaning his room he has taken almost three boxes of stuff out of his room of stuff he's getting rid of i've been working on the basement same thing just trying to get rid of stuff and things have been busy so i made it out shopping and now i'm here to haul for you because life has been busy so with all that this is a fun dollar tree haul of just a bunch of fun stuff that i picked up um, from shopping. Um, I guess this is less fun. So I picked these up. I have talked now several times that I just started um, reselling on eBay to kind of be my new side business. And I have some really cool racks, but they have holes in them. And so I picked these up to be able to like lay on there um, to stop them from having the, the holes. So hopefully these work. You get two mats in here for $1.25. So I thought that that was a good deal. And it should give me a decent amount of space to be covered. Most of them are going to get totes put on them, but you get those some things that I want to be able to put out on the rack. So that's what I picked that up for. And then also speaking of my eBay business, I picked this up as well. It's protective wrap. So I'm assuming it's for mailing. It's just like the clean wrap that you wrap around things. And I don't feel like I need a lot of it. So that's why I just picked up the small one. You get 300 feet of it, but you know, there's just that those few items that this will help with. And so that's why I picked that up. I think that's all I picked up for eBay from Dollar Tree at this point. But um, if I come up with anything else, I will. I'll let you know. Um, I got one thing from the plus section because I thought that this was a great deal. So it is the variety pack of their like bags. And for $5, there are 80 snack bags, 80 sandwich bags, 20 freezer bags, 22 quart size bags, and 18 gallon size bags. So if you were to just buy four of them, it's $5 because they're $1.25 each. And then you get this extra, you know, one basically for free. And I feel like the numbers are very comparable to the numbers that you get in the single boxes. And it's all in one box. Um, I always keep trying to buy the bamboo ones because I want the whole all in one box style and um they never fit in my drawer so i'm hoping this one will however when i think about it i also have saran wrap and foil in my drawer and i don't have a very big drawer so that might not work but i thought this was even without it working this is a great deal i feel like it's like you buy these four and you get this one free for the five dollar price point i mean that's that's kind of the way my math my head mathed it if you've been here for a while you know I don't math well, but I think I got that one right, and I think that that was a good deal. Um, let's see what else. These were new to me. I think I might have seen some other stuff like on um, Instagram and stuff, and I probably missed people hauling them. But they are scalp, no, scalp massagers. Use on all hair types and textures to lift away the dead skin and build up while massaging the scalp. Easy whole design fits comfortably in the hand while the silicone bristles are gentle on the head and hair um, it says follow us on instagram true beauty products and i feel like they're really pretty like look on the inside right there they have kind of this cute floral design it says use it on wet or dry hair i haven't decided i would open it up just to to see it but i haven't decided what i'm doing with these yet so i don't want to open one until i know for sure i have one of the silicone ones from dollar tree um, that's Dollar Tree branded that I love. But I've talked about I am doing donations for um, a local group. She's working on becoming an actual nonprofit, but a local group that is donating. Um, or she's taking donations to do a store for underprivileged families, mostly for kids to be able to shop for their parents and siblings. And so I have almost a full size moving box full of stuff. Plus, I've been adding more. I'm going to probably have two boxes worth of stuff to donate because I'm going through all my stuff and um i'm just trying to find all this stuff that would be good and i think one of those would be good because i try not to make it like dollar tree items but the nice things you can find at dollar tree because that's an affordable way to donate all right i picked up two more liquid deaths um braxton isn't a huge fan of the lime flavor but it's lorelei's favorite flavor of the liquid death so this was the only flavor 
I went to two different stores when I went out shopping because, ooh, I'm excited to tell you, I, de I decided on my trunk or treat. That'll be on Saturday's haul, a bunch of stuff I picked up for my trunk or treat because I'm going to start crafting for it. But um, I went to two different Dollar Trees trying to find all my stuff, and um, this is the only flavor I found. I've, I've been looking for them lately because two or three of my kids like the liquid death. So um, I'm sure I would. I like sparkling water, but I haven't tried one yet. So, so it is what it is. Um, this is a random find. I am putting together a cute little Star Wars gift for a couple friends of mine who are getting married in May. Um, May the 4th be with you. They're big Star Wars fans. And um, they're doing a bachelor at party thing, pre marital I don't know. what. It's um, axe throwing. I've never been. And so I want to bring like a fun little gift for them. Because I don't know if they need wedding gifts. I don't know. I haven't looked at the registry or anything. So far, I just got the save the date. But I get real excited about gift giving. And so I've been trying to put together, even if it's not for their wedding, I just want to put together this fun gift because they like Star Wars. That's just who I am. All right. It wouldn't be me if I didn't pick up Hot Wheels. I'm always picking up Hot Wheels, I feel like. So these were some that I thought were neat. Um, you don't see even a quarter of the Hot Wheels that come into my house because my husband, every time he goes to the grocery store, I swear comes home with an entire bag full. But he has a whole plan. We do a lot of car shows. Actually, this past weekend, we went to the Good Guys car show. It's like one that's national and it travels all kinds of different places. And it was in Colorado. And we went there for a day. It was so fun. But he has big goals for when he gets to show his car to be able to hand out Hot Wheels to kids. And so he's just been collecting for that. Um, and we wanted some that have more girly colors. Not to say that like girls don't like like the other cars too, but it's nice to have a variety. So I picked this one up. He told me he already did, but this is called Mod Rod. So we'll have a couple of them. Like it doesn't hurt to have extras, okay? Um, he did pick this one up too, but he gave it to Braxton. And you know, Braxton already liked it. And then I saw it. I didn't even realize that it was one. It's called a King Cuda. So I'm going to assume it's a Barracuda, but it's got like the whole card kind of theme to it. So I thought that was neat. If you've been around, you know, my kids have been like on a playing card kick lately. And then this one is called a track D wagon or D wagon, but it's pink too. So um, just pick those ones up. The selection was pretty small. So I just picked up a few. Um, also in the toy section, these were new to me. And we always love card games and stuff. The kids actually love like the would you rather style games. These are by Spin Master, Spin Master Games. Um, but they are printed on there, that $1.25 printed on, on a tin. Um, but would you rather eat a jar of olives stuffed with slugs or eat a roadkill hot dog? Try the hot dog because then it wouldn't you could cook it hopefully and it would not have that texture of slugs they both kind of make me gag um it says eight plus that fits in our family and so i thought that that would be fun to give to the kids these would actually be great stocking stuffers too um because christmas is around the corner and then this one is beat the parents a family showdown the stakes have never been higher um this one's aged six and up and you get 24 cards in there and 23 cards plus one voting card so 24 cards in there so those were the two new ones i saw i always pick up those little games they're all like we have some and some we have we have multiple vehicles in our family and there's like games in all of them and and all that all right in like the makeup section i picked up a few not i guess not makeup oh there's makeup too anyway i picked these up these were new to me they are bath bombs my stuff's falling um they had two different ones they had a blue one too that was moon something scented this one is cactus flower oh it actually smells really good um i got this to put in my donations for kids to be able to shop for their moms or parents um it's three bath fizzers cactus flower like i said it's manufactured for in in, in conte accessories inc in new york but made in China. So grabbed that. This one is a sticker, so I'll be able to get that one off. Use my nail that's already broken instead of trying to break my other nails, you know? So yeah, I like the ones that are stickers because you can usually peel them off pretty good and then it's not on there. So I can appreciate that. Um, also for my donations, um, Jen, I'm gonna give you my lavender one because you mentioned that you've been looking for these. Um, so I got two of these to put in my donations. 
and it's the pop sugar which i think you guys have seen but it's the pop sugar bath oil beads and this one is eucalyptus um before i picked up a lavender one for to do put in my donations um and so now i'm going to do two lavender or no two eucalyptus ones for my donations and then jen i'll give you a lavender and a eucalyptus so you get two um but yeah, so I found those. I wonder if you can smell those. And these ones don't have a sticker, which I can appreciate. Oh, no, these are sealed. So can't smell them. And then they're all all leaving my house. As much as I want to say I love baths, I just never, I never do. So I can say I love them, but then I would not be telling the truth. <sighs> also, now from, now actually from the makeup aisle. I finally found these. I know that you guys have been seeing these for a while because... I was and they weren't coming to my stores but it is the reusable blending sponges 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 and storage case and so there are three in there they're in this nice hard case um and they are who makes these who makes them aha uh -huh. true beauty products so same as the hair things the hair things these would also be good for donations in my donation thing i feel like any parent would love to just get the beauty sponges because you go through them um and so if i come across more and i might just gift this one too i don't know i'm going through all my makeup and accessories because i pick stuff up all the time that i don't necessarily need i think i'm going to use it and then i never use it so um I will probably and I'm gonna end up gifting a bunch of that stuff too because you know I have I have the intentions that I will use it and then I don't but I think that this is really neat and then I picked these ones up too they're the girl boss blend the rules and it's because I really like the shape of one and you don't always get the shape like this one you get two regular beauty blenders and then this one with the flat side I always really like the ones with the flat side and you get these more often I mean I use these they're fine but that's the that's the shape I like so I'll probably keep this one and donate that one because because I don't need to keep them all I don't I have to tell myself Amber Amber you don't need to keep them all all right oh there's more more beauty blenders I love these little ones for under my eyes and stuff and I thought this was a fun little mix of them um printed on there don't love that but they're like a four pack and they're two different styles because that one yep so two of them are like this little tie-dye one it's got a flat edge and then two of them are like this one that's that shape kind of a snowman shape so you get two and two but also I mean I think it's awesome to pick up these it says use wet or dry hmm. I always wet mine I wonder if they'd work well when they're dry. Um, but these are by Sassy and Chic. So these are our regular brand. Girl Boss is also True Beauty. Um, follows on Instagram, True Beauty Products. There's a lot of True Beauty products. They must have uh, just got a whole bunch in. The These Pop Sugar things are Centric Beauty LLC or Pop Sugar. So that's a different brand. But all kinds of fun things. All right. And then I got some makeup pieces that were new to me. And so I decided they might be fun. Um, and it's the Le, Le Mercerie. Mercury? I'm sure I, if I was French, I'd be able to say that beautifully. Um, this one's the finishing powder. It's got a cute little leaf embossed into the powder. Um, this is distributed by K7 Design Group. Um, I don't know who they are, but there have been quite a few different things, but not all at once in my different stores. So um, I've been kind of keeping an eye, but I think I saw a bunch, I saw stuff for your eyes. What is that stuff called? Mascara and eyeliner. I saw liquid eyeliner and I, so I saw like, you know, the, the tube, like the liquid one I, that I have no skill for. I have to do smudgy eyeliner so that it actually looks good. But, um, so I saw eye stuff. I just picked these up so I got obviously the highlighter or finishing powder I wonder it looks it's maybe not highlighter because it's pretty white I've been using the hard candy highlighter highlighting powder stuff I just finished one it lasts forever and I luckily I picked up quite a few because I love it I love it and I just opened a new one and then but these would be good for traveling because they're a lot smaller 
This one is a sunlight bronzer with a perfect sun-kissed matte finish. Adds a subtle, sub, subtle, I guess, subtle, sub, subtle glow and shimmer that shimmers, suitable for light to medium skin tones. Um, oh, and they have numbers on them. So this one says, or colors, I guess. This one is number 002 HD camera ready. And then this one's number 116, enhance your skin tone. Um, the description on the finishing powder says provides a translucent provides translucent coverage and blurs pores translucent so it's good for all skin tones ultra blurring and light diffusing I mean I'm gonna give it a try because why would I not and then I already have a bronzer powder but I don't love it it's I think it's a hard candy one that I've been using for a while but I'm gonna give this one a try and this one has a cute little sun on it it's pretty dark though but the one I have I don't feel like gives much color so I don't know if it's really doing anything. And then I decided to try this. Um, I do use the Dollar Tree uh, concealer all the time and I really like it, but I figured why not try this one? It's a full coverage concealer, effortlessly blendable with full coverage, light and creamy, brightens, covers, blemishes, and dark under eye circles. That's where I use, that's where I use it. It's number 114 Flawless Finish. And so I decided to try that. So I don't know, it was a new brand. Like I said, K7 Design Group, so it's not one of our usual Dollar Tree um, brands. Um, in the food section, I did pick up a few things, mostly for the children, um, and also to try, because I think they're the viral things or whatever, but I got these. I, Braxton likes meat sticks or Slim Jims or all the things, and he likes to try the different flavored ones. So this one was dill pickle, so I'm, it's actually Vlasic Gil words are hard today Vlasic Dill <laughs> Vlasic Dill Pickle say that five times fast um and so I'm gonna see what he thinks of this one and then this one is just nacho flavored and so um when he gets out of school today I'll give him those and let him try one or both I don't care if he's hungry and then I got these Amos candies because as I've been seeing them, but I'm gonna wait till the kids, uh, I guess I could try one myself. This one's the mango one that's peelable, made with real fruit juice. And then this one is the fruit gummy peach burst. And so this one, you can't see what they actually look like. And these ones just look real slimy. Um, we got pineapple ones and something else uh, when my sister-in-law was here and I didn't really like them, which is why I don't really wanna open these. Here. No, they're not for puppies. My dogs are down here like, wait, what, what, what? They're not for puppies. <laughs> it's not for you. All right. Um, in the decorating section, so I picked these up because Lorelai um, has decided on her Halloween costume and she wants to be a mushroom fairy. So not just a regular fairy, but a mushroom fairy. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Timu. It's on its way because I'm going to put together a mushroom fairy costume for her. And these I thought maybe I could make like a wand or an accessory of some sort to go with her mushroom fairy costume because the colors are red and kind of creamy white is what I'm going for. Either white or creamy white kind of depends on the item. But um, hopefully soon I'll have a nice I have I'll probably do a Timu haul tomorrow but it's going to be a collective Timu haul because I only have a little few things from Timu and then I have some stuff from Target and so that's probably what you'll see tomorrow but then hopefully by next week all my Timu stuff because I got a bunch of stuff for my trunk or treat too coming um and I want to get busy on it but I picked those up for her Halloween costume and lastly but a bunch um I picked a bunch of these up they're um things canvases Oh, I almost dropped them. Canvases, because I think Laura will like, what's her name? L -l 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 -l. Well, words are hard today. Laura I will enjoy some of them. I like some of them. Um, the ones that I think she'll like, I'm going put to put away for Christmas, because it's right around the corner, so why not start picking stuff up? But so here's what I grabbed. So there's this one, because I think these were kind of a set. She is into the mushroom. She, I mean, when they say your youth comes back, your youth comes back, because I I didn't have the disco ball, but I was definitely like into like the hippie mushroom kind of style when I was younger, but I felt like these like went really well together. 
along with this one it says everything is all right and it just has like this whole like fun I don't know hippie-ish flair to it but not you know and so I thought she would like those for her walls and then I think it also came with this one be kind and just like do them in a square you know put like put them together I don't know if I can do it here okay hold on I probably can if I use two hands like in a square like that on her wall I think that that would be really cute so I grabbed those she's also slowly working on doing her room we were supposed to do a garage sale this weekend but we're putting it off because only one of our children have really taken it seriously about getting rid of their stuff. Plus, I'm not done with the basement and my room and closet of wanting to get rid of stuff. I mean, ultimately, if I decide that I don't want to do a garage sale, it's all just getting donated places. But we're going to try to squeeze in at least a one day garage sale. Um, and then these two felt like they kind of went together. If nothing else, I like this one because I'm going to do like as I work on my basement, I haven't gotten to the decorating part of it yet, but um, as soon as I decorate it, you know, I'm kind of doing all my favorite things. So I'm gonna have some Golden Girls down there, some Britney Spears, some Taylor Swift, um, Barbie, because I love the Barbie stuff. So I'm doing like a not shed, she shed is what I started calling it. And this just gave me like the Barbie vibes. And then there's this one too, which is do good, be good, do good. But that I might put with Lorelei's too. But I just thought all those little prints were really, really fun like really fun all right since I talked about it, I want to try this one I want to see this one it's in my brain to try it um tell me if you guys have tried these feels weird in there I just opened it no they're not doggy treats okay it says peelable it's not for puppies it looks like a little mango what do you mean peelable oh that's a weird texture no Look, she's up there. Okay, so yeah, there's, you can peel it, and then there's like a candy in a candy. I don't, I don't want to. It smells like mango. That texture is not my favorite. It tastes like plastic. Do you like these? Have you tried? I'm not putting this one in my mouth. Um, that's a no for me. That's a no for me. The mango flavor is okay, but then it has like a texture and a little bit of a, a plasticky aura. No, that's a no. Mm -mm, I'll let the kids try them though. They might like them. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Sorry again for being a day late. Life has been so busy. I just lost my sticker. Um, life has been really busy, productive, but busy. So sometimes that's what happens next week will probably be a day late too um because my fingers are sticky now because i'm going shopping my best friend has a couple of days off of work and we're gonna do a shopping day together so depending on what what the week looks like um we're either going shopping on monday or tuesday so um no i lied tuesday or wednesday so it kind of depends but um and then let me tell you real fast my trunk or treat because my saturday haul and a couple things for tomorrow's haul is gonna um show what my, my theme is i went with haunted circus i ordered myself a costume from timu i've ordered i have i have so many ideas so if you want to start seeing my ideas because i bought a bunch from dollar tree to turn into my ideas um come back on saturday but i'm really excited for my haunted circus trunk because it's like the most spooky one i've done um so i think it's gonna be fun yeah all right guys i'm going to say goodbye because i am running late today on doing my hauls and i have to pick braxton up but i still want to do two more hauls today because this is the time that i have for them tomorrow i have a friend who is the best at cleaning and organizing and she's coming tomorrow to help me finish my basement and friday is always just friday they're busy and then it's the weekend so i'm going to try to get the rest of my hauls done before i have to go pick up the kiddo all right thank you guys so much for being here i cannot wait until i see you in the next one i hope you're having an amazing amazing day again sorry this is so late because it's already a day late and it's probably going to be late in the day that this gets posted but um because it is actually wednesday right now and i'm recording but um yeah so i will see you guys tomorrow with a collective haul all right bye guys <laughs>